Hello everybody, my name is Lewis, and this video is going to be a comparison video between two microphones, the Lewis LCT240 Pro and the Rode PodMic. Um, before we begin, I'd like to say that I'm going to be switching between these microphones as the video goes on, and I'll have an indicator on the bottom right corner of the screen that lets you know which microphone is currently being used, and I did this so you can get a feel for how the microphone sounds. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's talk specs. The Lewitt LCT240 Pro is a condenser microphone with a cardioid pickup pattern, and the Rode PodMic is a dynamic microphone with a cardioid pickup pattern. And to explain it as simply as possible, condenser and dynamic are how they translate your voice into something the computer can understand. It's how it translates sound waves into electrical signals that the computer can comprehend. And con uh, cardioid is the pickup pattern. Basically, where you have to be positioned for it to pick you up with the most clarity. There are different types. There is top address, omnidirectional, but the most common is cardioid, where you have to be positioned in front of the microphone for it to pick you up with the most clarity. So uh, with that all out of the way, let's get into the boxes. So in the box of the Lewitt LCT240 Pro, you get a handful of goodies. You get yourself a leather bag, foam windscreen, and some boring old manuals and the microphone itself, along with the microphone mount. The microphone mount does change depending on the version you buy. If you buy the value pack edition of the Lewitt, then you get a shock mount. If you don't and you get the standard edition, then you get just a regular microphone mount. In the box of the Rode PodMic, you get nothing but the microphone. And of course the manuals, which are included with every product. But nothing but the microphone. There's no stickers, no fancy leather bag or any goodies like that, just the microphone. Now, it makes sense because the Rode PodMic is $60 cheaper than the Lewitt, but it maybe would have been nice to include a sticker. Those things are like 25 cents to make. Now let's talk build quality. The Rode PodMic definitely takes the cake. It weighs a metric ton and it feels very premium. That's not to say that the Lewitt doesn't feel premium either. The Lewitt also feels extremely premium and they seem to be both made of aluminum. I'm not sure on that, but I know the Rode PodMic is and I believe the Lewitt is as well. They are both extremely premium microphones, but the Rode PodMic weighs much more, which leads me to believe it may be of a fancier metal. Now it's time for my verdict. I think the Lewitt takes the cake on this one. It sounds much better because it has that lower bass tone to it. It sounds much more like my real voice, and I think it sounds better. But that's just my opinion. If you want that softer tone that the Rode PodMic has, then you can go with the Rode PodMic. And even if you don't want that softer tone, the Rode PodMic is a much better value option because it is $60 cheaper than the Lewitt. Or if you don't have the money enough money for any of these, you can go with some USB microphones, which I have a roundup up on my channel, and I'll put it in the top right corner for you guys here. I also have individual review videos on both of these microphones, so if you decide on the one that you want, I'll also have them linked up here for you as well. But that's my review of both of these microphones, and um, if you enjoyed or if this was helpful, leave a like and subscribe as it helps me out a ton, and if you hit the notification bell, it notifies you when I upload a new video. And I try to upload once a week, but I haven't uploaded in two weeks. My bad. But this has been Lewis, and I'm out. Peace.